What's up guys? We're gonna do a quick video on my 2022 gear. We finally got everything in. We're gonna show you guys everything we got. Maybe we'll even try it on, we'll see. First off, we're gonna start with goggles. Huge thank you to 92, all the boys, Jason and Tanner. We got a bunch of new stuff in. Uh, this past week we got refills, the complete lens and roll off refills. Then we got the actual film refills. And then we got some new goggles. We got a couple of their new models with this uh, plaid version right here, which is pretty cool. We got obviously the yellow and blue, which we really love those. We got the blacked out. I think these are the stealths, which are awesome. And then check out these camo ones. These are also new for this year. These are really sweet. So we got all these replacement lenses because we have some old goggles here. We can set all those up. We have a bunch of lenses there we can clean. We have goggles there, there's goggles in the bag. I got a lot of goggles, but this should be a great start for this season um, to get us through. So once again, huge thanks to 92 Crew, you guys rock. So we also have all our fly gear and we got a new EVS chest protector. You guys can see all that stuff right there. So we're gonna open this up quick and show you guys. All right, guys, we got all the fly gear opened up this year. We are going with the Evolution gear. We got blue and black. It looks pretty good. Unfortunately, the past couple of years, they haven't had high vis yellow, which is fine. You guys know I like the high vis yellow, right? You guys know I like that. You guys know I like that. You can see I got some older gear back there with the high vis yellow, but not complaining. Um, I do like blue. You guys know that too. So Evolution gear, this stuff is very light, very breathable, good quality. We got the jersey, we got the gloves, and we have the pants. These pants are really, really awesome. It has a built-in, it's called the BOA system. It has this built-in kind of like ratcheting type mechanism. You just pull it to release it, to tighten it up, which is cool. All right, we have the FR5 boots. I've been running these for many years. They are awesome, very, very comfortable. They last, I have, a bunch of pairs back here. I still have two pairs. I did run Garnier's last year. I do also get these through fly. So I tried these last year, which I like, but you can see some of my older FR5 boots. They're awesome. Very comfortable. Like I said, first time wearing them, you don't have to break them in. You just get on them, ride on them, and they're good to go. They're very comfortable. So you can see I did the black and white, went back with black and white. It's been a few years since I went uh, with black and white. So I figured, uh, we go back to that, you can see that was 2018 and I had white boots. Um, 2020, I had the high vis yellow ones, tough to see, but you can kind of see that. And then I'm um, guessing those are the Garniers, which are the kind of gray, white, and high vis yellow. So kind of switching it up this year with colors. So I always like to do that. So, and then the helmet, we went again with the fly formula helmet with um just a touch of the blue they did have two different models of this one that had larger start stripes of blue and then they had this one with just a couple little kind of nice little pin stripes of blue on the side and on the top which i think will complement this gear pretty nice but this is a awesome awesome helmet i have been running these helmets now for the past i want to say four four years maybe you can see um 2020 i had that one which that might have been my first one i'm not sure that might have been my first one um actually maybe 2019 because i have a couple of them but we ran that one in 2020 and then we had this one from 2021 which is that one right there it's still a little dirty and then uh we have one more in the basement so yeah this is my fourth fourth formula helmet all right so very very good looking helmet also very comfortable right when you put it on so um and obviously this helmet offers some really really good impact protection which obviously that's very important one of the most important things to put on your head they also come with this sweet bag they come with a second visor which is good so if you do hit it and it snaps off, you get a second one. It also comes with the hardware for that visor. Um, and then I wanna show you guys just a couple other things um, that I use. Obviously, 
we run the fly socks. These are like almost almost up to my knees, those come. Um, because I do wear knee pads. So those are nice, makes it a little more comfortable on your legs for the knee pads. And then I just run these triple eight. These are just snowboarding knee pads. These actually work great, they're cheap. I get them right on Amazon. So if you guys are getting like rug burn on your knees from leaning against the tank. I know for me, I do really, really bad in the YFZ. So knee pads will take care of that. On the, on the Can-Am, I have to say, I probably don't need knee pads. I might still wear them because I'm so used to wearing them. So I might still wear them. And then I also wear this Under Armour. It's just like a cold gear t-shirt. So I wear this as my first layer. I have um, a cold gear and I have a hot gear. So the hot gear is for winter. It's long sleeve. So on those cold races, I'll wear that. But for the summer, I'll wear this. And then up over that, we just picked up a new, finally, EVS. I believe this is the F2, F2, F2 chest protector. I haven't upgraded my chest protector in so long, guys. So this is something I'm like super, super excited about. Um, so this one is a little thinner than some. It's meant to go under your jersey or over your jersey. I prefer to wear them under my jersey. I'll show you guys my old one. It's also an old, old EVS one right here. I've had this one for like, <laughs> so you can see it's like so friggin' disgusting, but dirty, but it serves its purpose. So good quality product. So we went back with EVS. I'm actually sponsored by EVS. So we got another one of these. And um, the last thing we use is we use the Risk Racing Palm Savers, all right? So we put these on before we put our gloves on and these help with blisters, guys. So if you're having a problem with blisters, um, try these out. There, there are a couple other kinds. There are actually um, another brand, I'm not sure of the brand, but it's, a, and it's an actual glove. It's a very, very thin glove that you wear under your gloves. But I like these better just because they're a lot smaller and then you put your gloves over that, it gives you the protection like right in your area where you normally get blisters. And um, something that I've been using for a very long time, certain, certain races um, will give me blisters. Usually it was always at GNCC, like the first round, the first two rounds, always Florida, Florida, even with those things, I mean, Florida is just a whole different kind of track. It just, it just, it destroys your hands. like whoops for like 11 miles so just it kills your hands but those do help um so that's just something i've been running all the time and i kind of like the feel of those with my gloves it kind of fills in the gloves a little bit better if your gloves are a little bit loose it'll tighten them up so that's something to consider but that is my gear for this year definitely excited i think it's gonna look pretty good let me know uh, let me know what you guys think and uh i don't know I, what do you guys think should we try it on i think we should try it on so let's uh Try the scare on and see how it fits. Woo. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Do we got the freaking gear? The new gear. Woo. Feels good, feels good. Definitely everything's comfortable. Boots feel good. The boots are squeaky though here. Squeaky boots, they'll break in, they'll quiet down, but that's the gear. Let me know what you guys think. I figured I'd try these, uh, plaid goggles on, that look pretty good. What do you guys think, the plaid? I like it, I like it. Let's get out of this gear. Woo, feels good to get out of the gear. It's actually kind of warm in here. Had to turn the heat off. It was actually like 60 out yesterday. It's maybe high 50s today, but rainy, so kind of crappy. We are gonna ride tomorrow. Today is Saturday. Once again, a huge thank you to Fly Racing for these awesome products and 9-2 goggles. Check out the camel ones, guys. What do you think? I put the camel ones on the goggles so you can check them out. Look at that. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give me a thumbs up on this video. Drop me a comment, let me know what you think, and we will see you on the next one, all right? Peace.